so 50 miles started so we're like 10 15 minutes in just caught out um it looks very good now that he's started running i feel like he's um i don't know the nerves look like they've gone so um he's off along the front now along the coast so i'm gonna run back to my car and i'm gonna try and catch him before he heads inland I think I've avoided most of the rain today. When I left the house, it was awful this morning. And uh, come down here expecting to get soaked and a good day in the end. How's it going, right? Um, just trying to find Al now. I've come about a kilometre from my car, so I'm going to try and run him in, hoping to get some cool shots along the, the coast. And I can't see him at the moment. There he is. <laughs> just chased Al for a bit. Um, I think we got sent down the wrong path. Um, it's got some good shots but we got to the end just over there and uh, it, the path just stopped so we had to climb a wall and go through someone's garden. Might try and help out by directing people in a different direction. Um, hoping if the weather stays good I can get the drone out in a bit and get some cool shots because it's going to really make this film if I can uh, get some nice landscape shots and some high up running shots along the coast. Go. Yo, what's up guys? So, seen Al again. Um, I'd say he's a little bit down compared to um, what he was like at the checkpoint. Um, I think it's very, very muddy out there. Very slippery. Um, feet soaked. He's probably 18 to 20 miles in now, so... You know, he's starting to feel a bit tired. Um, but he's going on strong and I said to him, you know, there's going to be points now where you'll feel down, but then give it a couple of miles and you'll be up high again, you know, you'll be feeling good. So just to stick with it, really. Um, I'm heading back to the car now. Uh, battery's doing really well on all my things, so I think I'm going to be good for the day. The only thing I wish is I had a couple more drone batteries, because got two more flies left I reckon before I'm done um, and you know what the worst thing about these films is like I don't mind going out spending the whole day running around I mean by the end you're obviously shattered you, you know you can't wait to get home um, but I just eat so much crap you know I've got a bag full of stuff like Pringles and sweets and I tried to get a few things that were like semi-decent but, you know, I'm just going to snack on junk all day. And not good for the diet, not that I'm really on one, but just not good in general. So, at least I'm getting a bit of a run in. Um, I just checked my watch. I've done 11k so far. Um, we're not even halfway through the day, so it'd be nice to do a solid 
20, 25k today. You alright? I always catch you at worst moments. I was motoring along the beach. Where's <laughs> ah, the checkpoint? I just had to go and show my picture of you and I can't. Have you seen this guy come through yet? Like, so close to missing you both times now. Oh. The last place, you know where I sent the drone up? Yeah. Went back to the car, left this camera lying on the on the grass. Oh, I had to yeah. sprint back for it. No way. Yeah, I've made up uh, quite a good time on the, uh, you are, on you're the beach. I think it's hot. You're about a marathon now, aren't you? Uh, just over. Yes, and the, uh, oh, just over six hours, so. Yeah. On for a 12. I picked off loads of people on the beach. Good man. But I took the tablets, put some <laughs> gel on my, on my leg, and after about 20 minutes, I kind of started to flow. Yeah, perfect. But I've started to get a little bit of pain in the esophagus, so. Oh, nice. I'll just have a drink now, calm it down a bit. Maybe some real food. Yeah. If I wasn't so freezing, I'd give it to you. Yeah. <laughs> right guys, so... Earlier this week, I went and met up with uh, Mike James. You guys might know him as the Endurance Physio, who is on Instagram and Facebook and stuff. Um, had a chat with him about the possibility of him putting together some sort of coaching plan for me um, in a build-up to the Lakeland 50 in July. So, um, yeah, we met up the other day, had a chat about kind of... Uh, where I am now as a runner and things I've done, where I want to get to, that kind of stuff. So we, we talked about the races I had and we talked about my goals for Lakeland. Um, now, I hadn't actually thought about what I wanted to achieve really as a goal for Lakeland. Now, for South Wales 50, I just wanted to complete it. Like, I just wanted to get that 50 miles out of the way, know that I can do it, be happy with it, um, as long as I cross the line. Now, in my head when I started, I was like... I'd like to get 15 hours. Um, I think I was on for something like 14 and a half before the whole kind of knee blister thing happened. Um, so I was pretty happy with how that went um, to that point. Uh, and I said to him, you know, for the for Lakeland, the difference is I want to do the race. I just want to finish, but I want to finish feeling strong. I want to run the whole thing. I want to, I don't want the last 20, 30k to be a walk-in because my body has failed in some sort of way. So the biggest thing I wanted to talk about was strengthening myself and hopefully avoiding those scenarios again. But I said, you know, look, I just want to finish strong, but like 15 hours again or something like that. And as the days have gone on and I've had a chance to think about it, I do wonder if I should have possibly been a bit more um, ambitious with my goals, because Lakeland is nine and a half, ten months away, it's the end of July, um, so I'm going to start training in January, so it's going to be like seven months, well probably about six months of training and then a bit of a taper, so until then I've got another two and a half months as well, which I'll be base building and strength training and all sorts, and if, you know, I can do a, a really solid, strong base build, and then we've got this plan that takes me from where I am up to completing 50 miles in July. And if I can do all that without any kind of serious time out, you know, a serious injury, if I can do a pretty consistent training block, why am I aiming for 15 hours? Why am I not saying I'd like to go for 12 hours or something? So while I was waiting for Al just now down at the coast, I had a look at the race times from last year. So the winner did it in 7 hours 55. No chance I'll ever be up anywhere near the winners. Um, the people who kind of came in towards the end were around the 21, 22 hour mark. Um, and then if you click down the list, go exactly to the middle, um, 14 and a half hours. So it'd be nice to finish in the top half of the race, definitely. But looking at that, 
and knowing what I've been through already, knowing that in the South Wales 50, I was on purpose being conservative with the way I ran, wanted to make sure I got to the end and didn't blow up. I definitely feel like there's so much more in me. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send him a message in a bit. So I don't know if you've started building this plan yet, but can I be a bit more ambitious with my time? Can I aim for like maybe, I'll say 12 hours? It feels like a nice goal. Um, and then, I don't know, as the training block goes on, you know, maybe three months time, six months time, whatever, we look at it and if it's like, you know, it's going to be difficult to get that time, fine, we adjust for time. We make it a bit slower. But I feel like if you go into the start of a training plan, I'm only aiming 15 hours, then it's going to be tailored for that and there's, there's not going to be much chance I'm going to suddenly pull three, out, three hours out of nowhere. Whereas if I go in for 12, there's no reason why I can't do it if I train properly between now and then. So that's what I'm thinking. Uh, I did say I wanted to do sub-12 in the South Wales 50, but that was when I signed up back, probably this time last year. But then I spent about two or three months out up until Christmas with different injuries and such. So the training plan was already several months behind when I started, and I knew that from where I wanted to start to where I wanted to get to, there was a particular way I had to train and a particular way I had to run Otherwise, I would have ended up being injured. I would have ended up not running the race. It would have been a DNS. So, it will be different this time. I've got more to build off. I've got a longer training plan. There's going to be more strength work. And it's going to be, hopefully, um, overseen by someone who knows a lot more about this stuff than I do. So, those are the goals, and I've been chatting for too long. I might have to go find out where Al is. So, um, I'll just chat to you guys in a bit. Get up here, check out up here. Oh. Oh, fuck, fuck steps in an ultra. Cancel. Actually, I might go even if it is. One. Let <laughs> me get Louisa to drop me at the rugby half cut. Oh, fuck me. Who puts this in at 40, 41 miles? Do you want the steps or...? Oh, I don't know what I want. A chairlift will do. The torch? Huh? The torch? No, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> not as if I'm going to fall or anything, is it? I know, <laughs> the not like much. Oh, really? Huh? Ah, eight miles ago. It's right? just leaks all right. I've done 41 point something miles. I haven't fallen yet. So you can see it's starting to get dark now. Um, so Al, I'm not sure if he's left the last checkpoint or last but one but he's around about 66, 67 K. So uh, there isn't much left. Um, Ryan, his brother's joined him and he is running him in for this last section. Um, Tifei, he's looking really good. He was um, complaining a little bit about his knees on the downhill earlier where some steps we went down that were pretty steep. He was complaining then, but Tifei, as soon as he got to the bottom, he was fine. Um, so yeah, he's doing really good. He's going to be there in no time now. Fair play to him. What a good performance. So he's uh, he's done it pretty much, unless something bad happens in the last 13, 14k now. Anyway, not quite sure where I'm going now. I um, don't know if I should go all the way to the end and then go out to the last few k to meet him, but it's going to be dark. Anyway, so today... I've managed around about 25k in total. Um, obviously, a lot, not all of that was running, quite a lot of it's been walking like this, but it's been hilly. And to be fair, I'm quite happy with that. Day out, a lot of time on my feet, and some decent miles in as well. Yo, what's up, guys? Um, it's um, 10 past 8 in the night, and I'm just sat around waiting for Al to finish. Um, <coughs> He's doing really well, he seems fine, 
Um, I know he's going a little bit slower than he'd hoped. I think, um, as you probably will see in the video, he's running with uh, with someone, um, and they've teamed up. Um, so they're going at each other's pace. So I think, um, yeah, I think they'd want to see the race out together. He's not after any sort of time now, so that's fine. He's doing good. Um, and to be fair, he's going to cross the finish line in a much better state than I did. So, awesome job from Al. I think he'll be mega chuffed he ticked it off. I knew he would do it. And I knew he would do it without any major problems as well. He did say he had a, and he'll say in his video as well, that the training over the last couple of months hasn't been ideal. I know he had some shin problems. He had to take about two weeks off for like that kind of pain to go away. And I know he had problems um, with his stomach as well which meant he couldn't run properly for a couple of weeks. So it's all been very broken up. I know he's done some long runs, but it's not been ideal on paper for him. But he went out there today with the right attitude, positive, and he got it done. Um, so really proud of him. And I'm hoping that it's now um, helped club members who have been following him today and who are going to see this video and other people. Hopefully, that will encourage them to want to have a look at maybe doing a 50 miler because it is tough it hurts it's a long day you know and like today for example it's freezing cold in the rain and the dark for me in the summer it was absolutely boiling hot so there are all these other factors but you guys can do it you know it's not this impossible feat this is not a sub two marathon here this is this is going out and not thinking too far ahead, just putting one foot in front of the other, not getting, not going too fast, eating, drinking, just keeping yourself, keeping it under control and just getting there, you know, one step at a time and um, I think a lot of people will be surprised that they could probably do it, you know, just put in a nice little training block to make it a bit easier on yourself, but yeah, a lot of people can do this. Right guys, so that's me done for tonight. Um, I'm going to get my camera gear together, go out now and run Al in and get some finish line shots. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please go in the description below and get the link to Ginger Al's page. Um, and he'll be posting a vlog about the race itself. So uh, please go and check him out and subscribe to his channel.